what's up guys welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how we can use the form request functionality in Laravel which helps us kind of remove the validation logic from our controller create a new class of its own and handle the validations there it's already available in the Laravel documentation so I will follow the documents and I will show you how to go about it so I have this user create form with basic five fields, sorry, four fields. And I want some basic validations like the name, first name, last name, even the email is required. But then I will want that the email ID should be actually a valid email address and also it should be unique. So yeah, let's go about doing it with the form request class. So this is the command which we usually, usually run. So I'll go to my terminal and I will run php artisan make and uh, let's just say we will uh, yeah create user request right sounds good it will help me easily understand okay so now we have the class let me quickly open it up and you can see there are two functions first one is the authorize function this is the first function which will be executed and it will check based on the return true or false whether you know, the user has permission for this request or not so any access based checks you can do it on this fun function now I have entrust library already installed in this application so you know I have already done that for a different request so I will just copy paste the code you can see this is a create role request where I have checked whether the user can manage role pumps so that's the permission I have created and given it to a role now I'll just change the name of the permission let me select and see is it correct let me check the database first so it's yes manage dash user so my permission is correct and my authorize function is ready let me import the class okay now that's done I have this function ready now the next thing is basically the rules you know this you can say it's same as how we add our validation logic or the validation rules array in our controller okay so let me create the save route I'll do it as post so let the URL be the same I'll just alias it as something like save and my method name will be post save user let me go to the controller I'll create the public function so I have the form and it's going to the user dot save route okay and let me refresh I hope nothing is breaking right now no it is not so everything is fine as of now and so with this thing done you can see it's a very straightforward HTML markup where I have used bootstrap to create the form I have the values with old input so that you know when the form is submitted and if there is a validation error you get the user input back so that the user doesn't have to type it again and so as I was mentioning previously we used to do request I'll pick up the illuminate HTTP request class and I will you know inject it but this time you know you can see the create user request is already extending that class so what we will do is we will inject create user request let me import it okay and I will name it as request okay so with that done now we need to write the code to create our user user create and I'll pass my array let me import the oh it's already imported it's fine I'll pass the array with the requests okay I'll return redirect back okay so the user will be on the same page which is form okay now the first thing is name 
request input name then I will continue with the rest of the fields and quickly fast forward it okay so we have all the fields here as require as the request inputs and you know basically the user will be created based on the validation logics so let us write the rules first will be name it's required right and let's say I'll keep it to as a minimum it should be three characters okay then my email address it will be required again it has to be a proper email address for the first name again it will be required now let me duplicate it and make it as last name so yeah I think that's about it as far as the rules go so we have the controller we are injecting the request which should trigger the validations and yeah we have the rules set and I hit refresh forms new and without typing anything let me hit the save button so you can see the validations are running and it is giving me the correct error messages okay I hit a the name must be at least three characters which means my second logic is also the second validation is also working rule which is minimum three characters so now you know this is how we have already separated the logic of validations from the controller you know my controller is very clean now it's a nice and easy way of handling the validation so if you have a form where you have like 15 20 fields you have additional permission checks things like that you know you can separate all the logic in this class now I will show you that we can even have our custom messages same as we do for the validator object inside the controller so I'll return this array my name required error message will be we need to know your name okay, something different from the default and name dot min hit refresh and let's just say I hit save again without anything we need your we need to know your name so the message is coming properly I hit the save button again and the second message so you see the validations and the custom messages are coming properly so we have already cleaned up everything from the controller and you know the logic is in a different class yeah that's about it if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and share it on other social networking sites in the next tutorial I'm going to show you a very cool plugin called the JS validator which allows us to you know, do JavaScript form validations without writing a single line of JavaScript code